Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Hear my voice. I am practically in a celebratory mood regarding a World Cup. Right? Um, let's see how that one pans out. I might publish this video after the World Cup has ended, but my side is doing good so far. Alright, so um, today's share is primarily about um, uh, collecting tilapia eggs and having them develop outside of the parent mouth or the, the female's mouth. Okay, so I did a video a few days ago when I shared with you that I was in the mode of preparing a uh, fish for food. I found some eggs in the mouth. I placed the eggs in an aquarium that was available and uh, the babies actually came to fruition. Uh, however, there are certain pointers that I need to share with you uh, with regard to that particular issue. Thus, I went in my pond again and I collected a fish that had eggs in its mouth and I did the same thing. This time I did it in an aquarium where it was much easier for me to actually record and I'll share with you um, in this piece steps that actually existed and um you know the end result which is the fries actually swimming okay so first and foremost the tilapia female will lay the eggs on the surface of the of the of the of the pond or the whatever it is at right so it lays the eggs on the surface unlike the emuma what that has that collects the eggs and follow the males and uh, male and the male actually spray up the mint and catches the mint in its mouth and lock up its mouth and stay um, in solitude for between 30 and 42 days and um, the tilapia doesn't do that it's a mouth building cichlid but it doesn't do that that's not the process the process is it lays the egg on the substrate after laying the egg on the substrate the male fertilizes the egg then the female will actually and take up the egg every single egg that is laid by her on the substrate she will take it up into her mouth and she will keep it into her mouth until the egg develop now i used to think that all um mouth building cichlid uh from eggs to swimming fries it takes roughly about um 30 days but that's not so with the tilapia an average of about probably about uh 15 days process um for them to become regulars and then after that it they, they will be regulars but they won't be fully released from the parent mouth until about probably about 20 something day, 25 or 28 days right and for some fish for some tilapia depending on where they are at um, if they feel a little bit more safe releasing the fries at a tender age they will because whenever the tilapia is released at a tender age what happened is that there is this um, sac that is underneath it that prevents it from actually swim very fast. All right, for, for, so for today's video, uh, I'm talking about the egg. So um, I was cleaning up another fish, right? And I saw the egg, well, some egg sacs in the fish, right? And the, about two egg sacs, and I estimated probably about 200, 300 eggs, right? But these eggs cannot be placed into an aquarium to be hatched because they weren't fertilized by a male so i had to throw, throw them out okay once it is in the mouth and the fish is in solitude you know that that has already been fertilized right because the tilapia won't collect them in the mouth unless it is fertilized right well unless the male mint actually spray within that vicinity okay so i emptied the, the tilapia um, the eggs in the, the tilapia mouth into an aquarium and you saw that in the in in, in a, a video in which i did before right and um in doing that right i probably about roughly about a hundred or more fries right um i i expected no not because the the eggs were in the mouth that doesn't mean that the eggs are going to come to fruition one of the primary reasons why tilapia actually keeps its eggs in its mouth is because the, the baby tilapia is prone to fungus. As you can see in the aquarium, there are some white spots. These are fungus. And fungus will um, actually travel from one egg to the next. So as soon as um, 
this part fungus uh, within any system you should remove it or uh, yeah you should remove it right because it can cause trouble uh, or you could actually um, place snails in it and some snails I, I, I can't recall right now but some snails only eat bad eggs while some snails eat both bad, bad eggs and good eggs so you have to be very careful all right so the the, 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 this at this stage in which you are seeing right now uh the eggs are what, what i refer to i don't know what the books refer to it as but what i refer to as jumping bean stage where it is it, it the, the eggs are like like jumping all over the place right there's no true form of the tilapia fry tilapia baby that is being developed right um if you were to like go back to the little clip that I show you with the, the, the egg sac from out of the fish, you realize that the egg sac, um, the eggs in the egg sac look similar in color and in size to the one that I've actually shaken out of the fish mouth. It's difficult at times to tell whether or not uh, the eggs in the in 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 in, in, in this in the system in the should I say the eggs in the in the tilapia mouth has been fertilized yes or no but one thing to stand out is that once it is in the mouth that means some means of fertilization have taken place another thing is unfertilized eggs will get fungus so it proves that although the female might collect all the eggs off the floor after the male have actually danced over it right um some eggs probably a few might not get a touch of that mint or egg or sperm right that fertilizes the egg for it to develop into a fish as a result uh, not all the eggs will develop um into babies right eventually what will happen is that the at a particular point in time uh if the tilapia is within a space that it feels safe it might open its mouth and the jumping beans might come out for a bit and for those that are referred to as duds are not good it will actually consume them or spit it out right and then now it will call it back there why call it the, the the jumping beans and stay secluded within the the space until the time period is there for all of the babies to actually um swim out of its mouth now uh it might stay between uh for these jumping beans to actually come to full swimming fish um, after the, the 15 days, it might take roughly about another 7 days for uh, the fries to look like a fry and to be swimming um, like a fry within the space, right? So, at this, at this juncture in the development of the fry, what you find is that it is more prone to predation, or should I call it, call it a word, um, predators, right? So, um, other small I want to say fries but small it's a little older than fries tilapia that may exist in the system it's smaller than fingerlings might consume um, the babies that have been released within the space right so one of the reasons why I actually did this exercise one from for a moment of, of academic um, interest you know sharing this with you so you can get to understand the dynamics of it right and two uh, although I have 600 tilapia, right, uh, the probability of having um, more do exist. And as a good businessman always say, it's better to have too much than to have too little. And so um, you don't know whether or not anything will happen. The other day I lost about 2,000 um, tilapia fry because I, I tested out a water with some and it happened that the water was not good and they all died right so with me getting you know these eggs it's as if i'm replacing those which i've lost although it's way over the amount right so um tilapia is a very tricky fish to actually keep and breed if you actually follow the habits and you actually make notes you realize that um tilapia fish will practically be breed in season and out season and if you are not using any control mechanism 
to actually um, manage the breeding process, you'll end up, um, for want of a better word, lack of space. Right? You, you end up with, in trouble. Right? Um, is that you're going to lose all of them or something that's going to happen? Alright? Thank you very much for stopping by, guys. I know that this video is a little bit lengthy. But it's hope that you actually got something from it, right? Now I'm going to actually have to feed my fish now. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Bye-bye.